So let's suppose that we begin with the benzene molecule and we are asked to describe the reagents that we have to use to get from the benzene molecule to these two products. So we don't really care about the reaction mechanism. We only want to focus on describing the reagents that we have to use to get from the starting material to these two products. So let's begin with product number one. How do we go from the benzene to this product number one? So let's begin by drawing out our benzene starting material. So we have our six membered ring with three pi bonds. Now the question is, should we undergo the friedel craft acylation to first add this group or should we undergo the nitration of benzene to add this group? Which step should we place first? Well, if we, if we allow the benzene to undergo nitration to form this group, then we form a very deactivated benzene. In fact, the benzene containing our nitrogen and oxygen, basically the nitrobenzene, is way too deactivated to actually react in the second reaction. Now, if on the other hand, we take the benzene and allow the benzene to undergo the friedel craft acylation, so basically we react this molecule in the presence of aluminum chloride, we basically form the following product. So we form exactly what we want to form, that is, we place this group onto our uh, benzene. Now in the second step, we can now basically mix in our nitric acid, HNO3, in the presence of sulfuric acid. So basically this is our nitration reaction and we can nitrate our benzene exactly at the meta position. Why? Well basically this group is meta directing. That's because this carbon has a partial positive charge. So because this oxygen is more electronegative, it will pull away those electrons more readily, creating a partial positive charge on this carbon. And that means that our molecule, the intermediate of this reaction, will not want to have a charge, a positive charge on this carbon. And so that means this group is not orthoparadirecting, but it is metadirecting. And that's exactly why if we take these two reagents, our nitric acid and sulfuric acid, we produce a nitrated benzene group in which these two groups are substituted 1, 3. So that means they're meta di substituted. So we have our uh, group here, the acyl group, and we have our NO2. So this is the final product that we wanted to form. Now let's move on to product number two. Now product number two is almost the same as product number one. The only difference is we have instead of the oxygen, 2H atoms. So the oxygen is replaced with 2H atoms. So basically the first two steps to form this second product are exactly the same as these two steps. But we have to add one more additional step to transform this oxygen into H atoms. And this is known as reduction. So we have two reduction pathways that we can take. So <coughs> either the Wolf-Kishner reduction pathway or what I like to use, the Clemenson reduction pathway. So basically we take our zinc amalgam with HCl, we react this with zinc amalgam in, in HCl and this oxygen is basically reduced, it's replaced with 2H atoms. So the final product that is formed is the product that we wanted to form in the first place. This oxygen is reduced, uh, replaced with two H's, and this NO2 remains on this meta position, and we are pretty much done.